y'all, y'all, y'all can see. I have been working hard. <laughs> I've been pulling weeds. Look out, Gingy. I am soaking wet. I had to go in and rest for a few minutes. And, of course, you know, when I get into doing it really good and get some work done, all that I got back there chopped down. Because I want to open this up so they'll have more airflow. And, um, and I need to go back there and touch those before they hit the power lines. Because I personally don't like the fact that uh, somebody with a chainsaw that's using... Uh, on everybody's uh, trees and stuff could bring my trees something bad. So I want to get those trimmed down anyways. And I need to trim that too. But look at that sky. So I'm going to have to call it a day. And I really, really, really wanted to get something refreshing. Um, and um, I got to say, this is kind of funny. Looky here, I got a uh, new, I've got new uh, blackberries, two new blackberries on here. I forgot to show that to you guys before, how they had flowered again. They have the prettiest pink flowers too. And I'll tell you, I really love this since it's uh, been, that, that kale panel was removed. But I've got me a stinker right there that I have got to get before it gets away from me. Okay, so I got it. And I, oh, I dropped one. I'm going to get some of these beautiful fruit off here. If y'all haven't ever been on my channel before or haven't seen me ever pick these, these are called miracle fruit. And... Uh, why they call them miracle fruit is because when you eat them and you eat something um, that is, um, how do I say this, uh, sour or something like that, whatever you eat is much, much sweeter. So, I, uh, oh, come on, man. I had some, I had some just turning. Something keeps getting my fruit. Yep, they have found this tree, so I have got to do something. It's very annoying. See, I got some green ones right here, too. Uh, but they, they will, if I don't get them as soon as they start turning, before they're ripe, totally ripe, something will get them. I don't know if it's squirrels or rats or what, but it's... Making me angry. Very, very angry. I was looking forward to those few little fruit. Oh, there's one. <coughs> there is one. I'm going to get that too. Oh, sorry. They must not have saw that one. So, look at this a little bit better. Maybe I might find another one. Nope. I don't see any more in here. But you can see where the skin's left behind. That they have eaten it. See that black skin in the, in the Y of the tree? There's some over there on the other side. That's what they do. They leave all... They eat all the center out and and that's that's the way squirrels do they they don't eat everything so i imagine it's squirrels that's getting them I'm, that saddens me i've got to get these these uh um i can't think grapevines swinging over that way this grapevine over here it's not growing like I want it to, but it is starting to put on some new growth there. I got to get them tomatoes out of there. And I need to cut these limbs back, these leaves back on this. Um, I'm concerned about the 
the um, peach tree. I don't know what's going on with it. It's it's not looking so great. So, anyways, I'm going to the garden because I want to make some tea. Yep, I'm going to make some tea out of some delicious stuff, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to make it, Beth. I would put this right in my way. I've got to cut that up. And uh, I put the I put the trunks um, around and um, around trees and stuff like that to let it do its stuff. But I have to show you this. I have got another another uh, banana that is coming down. So I'm going to have to get that before the rain comes. I hope. I hope I can get that down by myself. So. Oh, goodness gracious. When it rains, it pours. It always got to get everything at one time. Anyways. I want some of these tender leaves. I'm going to have to sit you down so I can do this. Okay, so this is really important, guys. When you're, when you're picking stuff, you got to know what you're picking. Ugh. Put this right there. I just picked those. Well, I'll just hold them. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna pick some of this peppermint too. But I want to show you. I was trying to get all the tender young leaves of this beautiful. Uh, I need to cut this back too. This is my lemon basil. But back here is not lemon basil. This is, I want to say, it's, it's either holy basil or something, but it's not lemon basil. So, and I don't, it doesn't, the smell of it is not desirable for me. So, I probably won't ever try that one. I don't know, I may change my mind, but I'm going to get some of these. This is another basil. I, that's why I think it's holy basil, because of the blooms. And I believe this is holy basil. So, and I can't remember the license, life of me what this is. I don't know if these are scarlet runner beans that got away, or I don't know what this vine is. I'm about tempted to pull it out because I'm scared to death of getting another vine that I don't want. But um, this is peppermint, and you can... Oh, the smell is so good. Now, I am not a fan of spearmint, um, but I do have it growing. And I grow peppermint and spearmint to try to keep down um, um, some of the bugs. But I'm going to harvest some of this. And I'm going to harvest a little extra because I want to try to root some of this and get it growing in other places. Because you can see where I've, where I've cut it back before. And it's starting to come back again. So I'm hoping that that's what will happen now. But And I'm going to pull some of these weeds. Here comes the rain, so i got to go in. Well, make me some tea. Okay. I don't want to bore you with the whole details of this, but when I use these um, stems, I only use this top part to to uh, make my um, tea with. So what I'm going to do is cut these in half, and I'm going to stick the other half in here and let it root. So there you have it. That's my... Uh, peppermint basil, lemon basil, that I'm going to put hot water on and steep. And here's my my thingy that is going to go, well, let's move that. I've got to get me some more violets. My violets died. But there you have it. Hopefully those will 
put off some um, uh, roots soon and I can get them in some pots and grow me some more peppermint because I want peppermint everywhere. It's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things to put in my teas. Okay, so the other ones, that the other tea that I'm going to make is dandelion flower tea. Um, these are the dandelions that me and my grandson picked while we were in Georgia. Man, oh man, I wish I had picked more because this is all I have left. And we had a whole pint of them, and that's all I have left. So I'm going to make some of dandelion tea. I'm debating on whether to put any um, peppermint. Maybe I'll put one little twig of peppermint in there just to give it a little extra boost. So waiting for the water to heat up, and then we're going to pour it in. Ugh, I'm not a fan of pouring hot liquids from pots. And that's why. Because it steams up my glasses and I can't see. Ugh. Man, oh man, that smells so good already. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm just gonna just lay the lids on there and uh, let that steep. And then I'm going to um, dry up this mess that I made. Okay, so I'm making me a Earl Grey Tazo tea for uh, to consume tonight. Um, I want you to know, too, none of these teas will be drank hot. I, um, uh, very seldom ever drink hot tea, and I truly, truly love these teas when they're cold. So, when this cools down, um, a little, where it's easy to uh, touch the water and not to uh, burn myself that that is when I put in my honey now y'all know I raise my bees this is my honey and um, I'll be putting that in these drinks and then I will make me some iced tea with these drinks now let me tell you these guys will not be drank today probably they will probably steep for a little while and then when i get the desiredness of them put my honey in there i'll mix that honey up real good and put the lid on tight and put it in the refrigerator and i will have some refreshing drinks tomorrow uh, why do i do that because there's something about putting them in, in the refrigerator and letting them cool and get ice cold. Well, not ice cold, but very, very, very cold. My refrigerator is very cold. Um, without putting ice in them, it's so much more refreshing and flavorful. I don't know what it is. I guess maybe the ice must weaken, weaken it down or something like that, but I don't know. So that's what I, that's how I do it. And um, this Arrow Gray doesn't take very long at all. This is what I drink every day. A um, couple of cups of this. And uh, with honey, actually I'll be taking this out of the cup and putting it in a glass and uh, it'll be in this uh, mug thingy and put the honey in there and then I'll put ice on top of that and it cools it down and gives it the right amount of strength too. So 
that's how I make my tea, guys. Well, I thought I was going to get this off. See how it's broken up there? And the rack is right here. But I can't pull it, and I can't reach up there. That's way too high for me. Um, so I was going to cut it here, but it started raining again. It's not getting me wet too bad right now, so I'm going to still try to cut this and see if I can't lay it over. But the only thing about it is I don't want to. I don't want to damage this pup right here. It's a pretty good sized pup. It'll have fruit soon. So, I don't want to damage that. But I'm going to try to get this cut. Okay, so now that I cut off that brand, that leaf that was coming out there, you can see this a little bit better, how crazy this is. I don't know what caused that to break up there. It's just freaky. It just looks like it just died up there. I mean, the whole thing's not dead, but it just looks like, man, that just broke out of the top. The wind has been crazy, though. I'm surprised I haven't lost all my bananas. But the wind's been crazy, but I've got a whole bunch more up there. I've got two more right there. Another one over there. Um, and some inside here. I don't remember where it was at. I'll have to go around there and show you from the other side. But it's crazy. And this one's leaning, but it hasn't fruited yet. And look at the trunk on this thing. This thing gigantuous. That is going to have one humongous uh, uh, fruit when it comes out. I can't wait to see if that one has fruit. So I'm going to try to get this done. Okay, so I got it, I pulled it down. I chopped it some and pulled. Um, this little Asian lady that lives over there by Walt, I, I was talking to her about the fruit and how, how we had to have a hard time getting up to it and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it fell on the cages. I gotta get it off of there. But, uh, and I pulled it that way so that it wouldn't hurt this, this banana right here so I pulled it over that way and yes I know it's on there but I'd rather it not tear up this so um I had some fruit fall off of it and um I don't know if I should put this in my chickens love let me show you something if I can get this to open my chickens love 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 they don't eat this out these outer petals but I'm telling you something they will flat eat these up watch this just a handful of them watch this here girls they love banana blooms Go figure. <laughs> okay, so there you have it. Uh, I don't know what caused it to snap, but it kind of looks rotten right there. But I could be wrong. Um, I don't know. I'm telling you guys, these things are so hard to, to to get. I probably won't mess with it anymore, but yeah, it just it just broke off right there. And I can't see. It doesn't no, it doesn't look like it's broken. These are all dead dead leaves. So that's that's crazy. Now I am going to harvest these green leaves for my girls they love 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 them so i'm gonna give them all the leaves okay so i got it down off of there and uh, 
when I have more energy, I'll cut those up and put them around some trees. Oh, but boy, does that ever open this up. I mean, really open it up good. I was telling you about another rack and it's right over top of me. I know you can see the bottom of it. So I've got three racks in the house. There's still two over on that side. There's one right here. So that's four, five, six, and that one's seven, and that one's eight. And it seems to me like there was another one somewhere, but I'll stick with eight for right now because my neck's too hard to look up anymore. So, oh yeah. I have to cut this down some and uh, take it in the house and let them ripen up and put them in the freezer. It's going on now. They're finally getting ripe. Here's some that's lighter red. Here's some that's darker red. And some up there that's not quite ripe too. But looky here, a whole bunch of them ripe. That one's not ripe yet. That one feels ripe. Oh yeah. I haven't quite made up my mind what I'm going to do with all these fruit. That one's ripe. Hard. That one just came off in my hand. I thought they were supposed to be redder than this, but they're coming off pretty easy. So we'll see. We shall see. right there is ripe too. Those up there are probably ripe enough too, but well, folks. Now, guavas are known to be let me open this one up to have uh, worms in them and I'm praying that these do not have worms. So let's see inside there. good to me. That's really good. It is really, really good. A lot of seeds. But I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to make jelly out of these because the seeds are hard. Yeah, they could break your teeth. I think that's what I'm going to do with them. Mm -mm -mm. They're so good, though. 